Hey everybody, it's Gina. This is still Easter. I am still getting stuff ready. Um, I've got my oven preheating to 325. I've got my uh, mac and cheese that needs to go in. The stuffing I made the other day. This is an 8x8 square pan. It's well loved. Um, I got this from my mom years ago, and we've been married for 16 years. So, stuffing is still in this bowl. Um, we are just going to go ahead and take this out and put this in the little 8x8 here. And as you can see here in a second, I am... I've, it's like soaked up all the liquid that I put in there the other day. So this is really good to go. And we will just bake it until it gets completely set in the center. And the edges get a little bit brown. Now, if I'm having company, I would have made more than one box. Um, as I said the other day, now if you make more than one box, of course you're going to need more liquid um i did not add butter to mine uh, i added eggs so that it would stay together a lot better uh celery and onion of course if you more if you're making more stuffing or dressing than i am then yeah you're going to need more celery more onions um so we've got that going i've got to uh, also, I'm going to make up this. This is a just steam thing that all you have to do is, let's see, you can either do it in the stove top uh, for 12 to 20 minutes or you can microwave it. I'll probably end up just microwaving it. It's quick, it's easy, and it's corn. So... I've also got jelly cranberry sauce, y'all. I'm going to be making that to go with this meal. Um, I'll pro I might make, well, we've got plenty of stuff here. I've got carrots. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not overdoing this or overthinking this meal. Um, even though this is a, a holiday meal this year, I'm just not overthinking it. And over making stuff and no it's not going to happen not f this year um but anyway this is easter sunday resurrection sunday depends on what y'all it just a lot of times it just depends on what um denomination y'all y'all are or are not <laughs> um as to what you call it I was a little bit grumpy, but in my last one. So, I'm going to say, I'm sorry for being a grumpy, but I've been on my feet a little bit much today. And, uh, I've been doing stuff for the past few days here. And I'm getting a little tired. And that fall must have done something. I mean, that thing has tore my back up. And I've got, already got a bad back. And I'm used to dealing with the back pain, y'all. Two surgeries, you... Y'all don't, if you've never had back surgery, you won't understand this. But if you have had back surgery, you'll understand this. Once you've had back surgery, 90% or better of the people that I know that have had back surgery never live another day in their life without back aches. That's just a fact. Now, that might help a few people, but most of us, it just sets us up for more back pain and back pain chronically um i may end up maybe making some green bean casserole or something here in a little bit um but this is just the stuffing like i said i've got the macaroni and cheese i've got um the carrots the other day, I did a video, and I showed y'all the bread and stuff that my friend Pastor Wayne brought by. So, we will definitely be using that today. Um, and making some, like, bread and butter or whatever to go with our meal. I know lots and lots of starch today. 
but holiday meals don't come that often, and so I'm not going to complain too much today. Um, you know, we've got what we've got, <laughs> and um, but every, you know, life is good. At least I've got food on my table, y'all. I am not complaining. I've got food on my table and clothes on my back and a roof over my head. That is the good news for me. <laughs> But the real good news is about Jesus, y'all. For those of you who may not know, the reason we have Easter or Resurrection Sunday is because Jesus rose from the dead. Yep. And I know some of y'all that are atheists are going to say, Gina, that just does not make any sense and that cannot happen medically. That's where faith comes in, y'all. Really, it does. That's where faith comes in. All I can say is... That's what I personally believe. If you don't, that's fine. You know, nothing. I mean, all I can say is, um, if you don't have a Bible, ask for a free copy of the Bible. Uh, places will give you a Bible. Um, read it, and if you still don't believe it, you know, that's acceptable by me. You know, if you read it and still don't believe it, that's... That's all I can say is, you know, you've made your decision. My decision is I'm going to be, be living by a little bit of faith because that's what I've got to go on, y'all. I may not have a lot, but I got a little bit of faith. Um, You know, it, it, and I got my house getting cleaned yesterday, y'all. So I got a nice clean house and I'm going to have a nice big meal. Yeah. And, I, and my belly's already like, feed me, feed me Seymour. Yeah, that's why my belly's screaming right now, feed me Seymour. <laughs> if y'all don't know what that reference is, look it up. Um, yeah, I'm one of those choir nerds. <laughs> yeah, I was one of those choir nerds in high school. But anywho, I've got cranberry sauce that I'm going to heat up or have with this i'm not heating it up actually it's jellied it's good i like it what can i say and this is um just the it's just green giant it's niblet corn and butter sauce lightly sauced it don't have a ton of the butter sauce on there but it's got corn water butter salt a little bit of cornstarch whey natural flavoring some kind of gum stuff and some ex extract. That's all I know. Some of those words on there I can't pronounce y'all and I ain't going to try. But most of it's just corn. So corn and butter works for me. <laughs> anyway, um, I will be back a little bit later once we get stuff in. And I'll, if I decide I'm going to do uh, yams or green bean casserole, I'm trying to do two to three, like, Easter videos of what I'm doing. Anyway, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Bye-bye.